Hey everyone, if the Bluetooth on your Lenovo laptop isn't working, maybe your device won't pair or the toggle is missing. Don't worry. In this video, I'll walk you through several methods to troubleshoot and fix it on Windows 11. Let's jump right in. Step 1. Update the Bluetooth driver. Click the Start menu, type Device Manager, and open it. In the list, expand the section called Bluetooth. Locate your Bluetooth device, for example, Intel Wireless Bluetooth, right-click on it, and choose Update Driver. Select Search Automatically for Drivers and let it run. Once complete, you can also click on Search for Updated Drivers on Windows Update just to make sure you're fully up-to-date. Step 2. Make sure Bluetooth is turned on. Open Settings from the Start menu and go to Bluetooth and Devices. Check that the Bluetooth toggle is visible and switched on. If it's missing or grayed out, keep watching, we'll address that next. Try clicking Add Device, then choose Bluetooth and make sure your external device is in pairing mode. If nothing shows up, continue to the next fix. Step 3. Check for Windows Optional Updates. While still in Settings, go to Windows Update. Click on Advanced Options, then scroll down and select Optional Updates. Look for anything related to Bluetooth or drivers, and if available, install them. Step 4. Restart Bluetooth-related services. In the Start menu, search for Services and open the app. Scroll through the list until you see services like Bluetooth Support Service, Bluetooth Audio Gateway Service, Bluetooth User Support Service. For each one, double-click it to open properties. Change startup type to automatic. If the service status is stopped, click Start, then click Apply and OK. Repeat this for each Bluetooth service to ensure they're all active. These services need to be running for Bluetooth to function correctly on your Lenovo laptop. Final step. Restart and test. Once you've applied all of these changes, go ahead and restart your Lenovo laptop. Then test your Bluetooth connection again. Hopefully your device now detects and connects properly. If this tutorial helped, make sure to like, subscribe and leave a comment letting me know which step worked for you or if you still need help. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.